of a man's bone. And you need to get excited today. Amen. Let's go to the word of God today morning. Let's read Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 to 12. If anybody's got your Malayalam Bibles, please feel free to read that. And I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation. Okay? Everybody hear me out. It's okay if you don't have a Bible. It says, two people can accomplish more than twice as much as one. Amen? And they get a better return for their labor. If one person falls, the other one can reach out and help. But people who are alone, when they fall, they are in real trouble. You know, I've come across people who say, I want to be Apostle Paul. I don't want to get married. You know, some say he was not married. I don't want to get married. I'm going to do it all alone. But no, the Bible says, if you're alone, there's going to be a time when you're going to be in trouble. You wouldn't have a hand to hold on to. And the Bible says further, And on a cold night, two under the same blanket can gain warmth from each other. But how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Now, now is the most exciting part. The last verse, it says, Three are even better. Amen. Three are even better for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Amen. Yes, God said it's not for you, good for you to be alone. You need to become one. Both of you need to come together. But the Bible says three is better than two. Amen. And I'm talking about the third person who needs to be involved in every step of your marriage. And that is Jesus Christ. Amen. Today Christian couples have taken God for granted. Because we have that stamp of Christians, we think he's in our marriage. No. We become so busy with our lives. We become so busy with our work that the third cord of the spirit of God in the marriage today is missing. Amen. This word is for Leon and Karen and even for those of you who are considering marriage or who are already married. Let me tell you, if the third cord, if the third person is present in your marriage, no one can mess with you. Amen. Doesn't matter which human, doesn't matter which demon, which power is standing against you. If you've got that third cord binding you, you are heading towards a successful marriage. Amen. Let's read one more word today. Let's turn to the book of First Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter 13 verse 14. First Chronicles chapter 13 verse 14. Let me read that out for you. So David did not take the ark with him to the city of David but took it aside to the house of Obededom. Thus the ark of God remained with the family of Obededom in his house three months. And the Lord blessed the family of Obededom with all that he had. How many of you want that blessing? The Bible says the ark of God remained in the family of Obed Edom and the Lord blessed him with all that he had. Amen. On one side you have David who is sealed as the anointed of the Lord is not willing to take the presence home. But on the other side you have Obed Edom who says I will take the ark of God home. Amen. The ark of God stands for the presence of God. The very presence of God. And this man says, I'm taking this home. And because he took him home, the Bible says that God blessed his household. Amen. Let me try saying this in Malayalam. You know, Namada kudumangal kaash undu, Namada gailin nalla veedukal undu, Vandi undu, Pashay, 
ഒരു കാര്യം നമ്മുടെ കുടുംബങ്ങളിൽ ഇല്ല അത് ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ സാന്നിധ്യമാണ് ഹെയ്മാൻ നമ്മുടെ വീട്ടിൽ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ബിംബങ്ങൾ കാണും ഫോട്ടോസ് കാണും പക്ഷെ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ സാന്നിധ്യം നമ്മുടെ കുടുംബങ്ങളിൽ ഇറങ്ങി വന്നാൽ ഇപ്പം നടക്കുന്ന പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾക്കെല്ലാം ദൈവം ഒരു പരിഹാരം തരും ഹെയ്മാൻ ദ വെറി പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് യു നീഡ് ഇൻ യുവർ മാരേജ് ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് എ ഗസ്റ്റ് കമ്മിങ് ഹോം യു ക്ലീൻ അപ്പ് യുവർ ഹൗസ് യു ഗെറ്റ് ദ റൂം റെഡി and you need to know that there is a guest who wants to live in your house day after day and his name is Jesus amen we 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 acted church too long we acted christians too long it's time to look even the married couples here today are you hosting the ark of god in your life today amen and the ark of god remained in the house of obed edom for 3 months only 3 months amen and the lord blessed his household with all that the lord could bless them with so leon and karen as you step into this marriage my desire for you is that you host the ark of god in your house you know it, it was just 4 months before our wedding i'm married by the way okay uh, it was just 4 months before our wedding that god told me to leave my job in bombay and move into manipal and go there and start a church a very well paying job and i asked my wife what do i do she said if we have the presence of god coming with us we have everything amen deva sanidhyam nammada kooda undengil namakku vendiyadellam oru package aayittu nammada kooda veruva amen because he is jehova jaira you will not lack am i making sense to all of you God comes as a package when you take the ark home it comes as a package he comes as Jehovah Shalom he brings in peace into your family you don't need to run to a psychiatrist for peace amen he is Jehovah Rohi take his name and he is there for you he is El Shaddai the almighty all powerful god so if there is one thing that Leon and Karen should be working hard on is to host the presence of god in their living room in their car in their walks wherever they go host him give him space keep him as the third cord that ties you strong amen we followed religion too long it's time to get that relationship in i'm going to share the last word for my message today my favorite verse in the bible no need to open revelation chapter 3 verse 20 behold i stand at the door and knock if anyone opens i will come in and i will eat with him Today Jesus wants to come into all your homes all your families and eat with you Am I making sense when I eat with Jaren I tell him my problems he tells me his problems I tell him my good things he tells me the good things that is happening in his life and that's what Jesus wants to do today but the problem today is couples are so busy with social media with Facebook with Twitter with business with TV with all these things that Jesus keeps knocking at the door and we don't have time for him. Amen. We don't have space for him. Few days back I was spending time with a family that is you know so blessed. They've got all the money they need. They've got the best car in the city. They've got a good house. But it was a struggle for me to find them spend some time in prayer. Amen. So you need to pray together if you need to host the presence of God. You need to worship together if you need to host the presence of God. You know, one of the biggest fights that happen in my house between me and my wife is when she feels like I don't have time for prayer. And that's what you need to do, Karen. Every time you feel that the other person is getting too busy for God, pull him down. And tell him we need the third cord in our marriage. because without him we are nothing amen and when that third cord comes in when jesus himself is in your house nobody needs to tell karen to be submissive to leon 
she will do that automatically nobody needs to tell leon to love karen like jesus loved the, the body of christ he will do it automatically because he sees the reflection of jesus in his life day after day day after day amen so leon and karen or any other couple here that is considering marriage let me tell you if you cannot host god in your marriage you're asking for trouble you're going to have a stagnant life you know you know the honeymoon period ends in a month or two and then the tough road begins you know the initial two months is all about hormones you're on a high but after four or five months you'll get familiar with each other you know that's one of the reasons marriages break these days familiarity sets it you know i'm bored of her i'm bored of him but if you've got jesus in the marriage you will not get bored of her because you are looking at your wife as Jesus' daughter and you are looking as Leon as Jesus' son. Amen? So my desire and word for all of you and especially this beautiful couple today is that they will host the presence of God in their marriage like Obed Edom did. Amen? And if they can do that, God is going to bless them. God's going to bless their entire household. Amen. So before I wind up, you know, we, we're just going to get into a small time of prayer and just pray that their marriage will be full of the presence of God. Amen. Let's all close our eyes. Let's pray. And if there's anybody here who's married and you feel that God is that missing link, Tell him that I want you to come into my marriage. In some time from now, Pastor Gopinathan is going to solemnize this wedding. And before that, Leon and Karen, I want you to invite the very presence of God into your marriage. Jesus. Come on, come on, everyone. Just pray that their marriage will be full of the presence of God. You know, it's okay if you don't have enough money. It's okay if you don't have a car. It's okay if you don't have a bungalow. But it is not okay if you don't have the presence of God in your marriage. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. We welcome Holy Spirit. We welcome you into this marriage. And we are in your prayer. Sense. Fill us, Lord, fill us with your power. Live inside of us. Let this be a prayer for your marriage today. Welcome him now, everybody. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence, Lord. We are in your presence, fill us, Lord, fill us with your power, live inside of me, you will satisfy this marriage, you're the living water. Never drying fountain. You're their comforter, comforter and counselor. Take complete control. Take control of this marriage, Lord. You're the Time. Let's welcome Holy Spirit into our marriages right now. Welcome Holy Spirit. He's knocking at your marriage. He wants to come in. He's knocking to the door. We are in your presence. Welcome him home tonight. 
fill us with your power won't you live inside of my manners live inside of me one more time sing it out you're the living water i need you in my marriage and you're the living water come on leon and karen just welcome him right now oh never driving far if you drink coffee you will never thirst you're the comforter and counselor Daddy, we pray for Leon and Karen right now. We pray that Leon will be the obey the dome in this generation who will host your ark in his house. He will be the one who opens the door for you, Holy Spirit, so that you can dwell in their marriage. More than money, more than gifts, more than anything, we bless them with the presence of God. Let the